Hey guys, welcome back to another random repair video. We are in the garage today with the 1991 Honda CRX SI Special Edition. And it's been a couple weeks. Insert excuse here. Uh, it was cold. It was really, really cold here. Uh, it was like minus 40 with the uh, wind chill every day for like two weeks. So I wasn't coming out here and that's, that's the excuse. Sorry about that, it's totally valid for those of you who are following. Uh, there's not too much of a, of a following yet, but hopefully it grows a little more in the next uh, video or two because there's definitely gonna be a few more of this car as I continue to put it together. And some people like watching these nuts and bolts videos. Now, I must say the car is looking really good. Every time I come out here to do something, whether it's, uh, you know, take some tools out of the garage, I had to go on a road trip, so I had to unpack my truck of tools. They all ended up here. Uh, you know, like grabbing the salt for the rental properties, uh, that kind of stuff. I look at this thing and I'm like, would you look at that? Yeah, well. Would you look at that? Yeah, there's a few more blemishes on the car. The oh car, my gosh, just car, look at it. Car. That's pretty much what I say. Just look at it. Um, yeah, so it's kind of late now. I didn't get out to the garage here until uh, later tonight. Finally, the weather's decent and I had a whole bunch of stuff going on. And um, yeah, so I think tonight I'm gonna tackle the rear windshield wiper motor. I'm not gonna put the arm on yet because I wanna paint it. Do you wanna put the motor in and this spoiler? So let's get started on this rear spoiler. Alright, so there's the spoiler installed now, uh, and this is, I guess, similar to or is the same as the um, JDM version spoiler or something like that. What's this? Oh, dirt. Uh, I really like the way it looks on this car, but it is factory, okay, on the special edition. So for those of you who don't know, the CRX SI from 1991 special edition factory with this spoiler. I'm gonna put on these side skirts now. Uh, I'm just waiting a little bit for it to warm up because it's still a little cold. I can actually still see my breath working in here. The heat hasn't been on for very long and we are just coming out of this real extreme cold snap. Um, and there's one more thing on the bench we need to do. Okay, I'd really love to put the back bumper on this. We're pretty much, if not, yeah, we're completely ready to put the back bumper on this thing now. Okay, uh, and the tail lights, which is awesome. But the back bumper bracket has an issue. Let me show you quickly here. 
and um, it's the license plate holder. They broke, as you can see here, and um, they had to be drilled out at some point. So this was a nut welded on the back and it's broken and the bottoms are a little bent. So they need a little bit of love. Overall condition is pretty good. They need a sanding and a paint. This isn't an easy part to just buy from what I can tell. So I'm gonna repair these. Uh, this one's the same, but then somebody really messed that up. So that needs a little bit more welding up there. You never see that though when the plate's installed because the plate actually covers that. But then someone also honked out a hole down here, um, which again, you don't, necessarily see with the plate installed but it shouldn't be there so uh, yeah and I guess they did that to just hold the plate because this wasn't here so I'm gonna fix these difference that made side skirts are on got my grubby fingerprints all over them they look really good with that Cerakote on there so they just need to wipe with a microfiber though and they'll look even better um, I didn't put any of the fasteners in underneath because I still have to jack the car up and I'll do it at that point I won't forget don't worry I think the goal right now is to get this back bumper assembly on I have the brackets welded and painted they're definitely not the prettiest, but they'll work. The only part you actually see is the very bottom here, but they were quite pitted. Um, but you know what? They're pretty good now, and there's now a nut welded on the back, and I welded the cracks that were in it. It's just thin, crappy metal that somebody was really rough to to get the plates off. But now, with new hardware, that won't be a problem anymore. We'll put a little squirt of fluid film on there, and hopefully it will last. All right, so this was stripped and repainted. Uh, it's fairly pitted. These usually rust out really bad. It's the bumper reinforcement or the actual bumper of the car. So it's time to install that on here. And I'm gonna give it a really generous coating of fluid film as well. So it just hangs out back there forever. <music> All right, so the bumper's just clipped on there right now and I'm gonna put all the um, bolts in. There's a series of bolts with a Phillips screw head that go in all around and in the place. I'm gonna put a little bit of fluid film on them. Those always rust, just like I've been putting fluid film on everything, but so far everything lines up. But this bumper can still be just up or down because the holes are square in the body and they're fairly large and the uh, uh, bolts are smaller so we can adjust this bumper up or down just a little bit 
uh, to sit flush with the taillights after. So screws first, then taillights, then all the bolts that hold the bumper rebar in for alignment and uh, should be in good shape. These are the seals for the tail lights. So um, I have some uh, foam gasket material and I'm just tracing them out and gonna cut them out all brand new. So that's uh, the best way to go with these seals and not silicone them up. And this one you can see is just all dry rotted. So I'm gonna get these cut out and see how they turn out. So now that I've got the main cutouts done, I'm just using this little piece of brass pipe to uh, drive out the holes for the uh, bolts for the light. It actually works pretty well. And these turned out not bad. Tracing them was the hardest part because the old ones were so warped and haggard. Decent. So those all fit awesome really good fitment and the perfect thickness so that went really well and was a nice easy solution to something I was a bit stressed about. Now it's time for the tail lights with the new gaskets. just going to gently lift up on the bumper to close this gap uh, evenly. It's actually pretty good. It's only got to come up just a little bit make sure everything looks good over here. And I'm going to tighten these down just by hand. They should hold for now. Oh yeah. Now that lines up perfectly across. So now this is the part I've been waiting for. Yeah, that's my license plate. And those new holes should line up pretty well. Wow, they work like they're supposed to. All right, so there's the back bumper install. Time to move on to the front. Uh, the rest of the fasteners from underneath, uh, I put on off camera. I did forget to put those on. They're little splash guards that go in behind. I will do that. On to the front bumper. So this front bumper could be a little bit of a production, we'll call it, to get put on because this car at one time wasn't an accident and had the um, radiator support repaired. And it was a bit off when I got it and I had to have it pulled straight. So I'm hoping everything lines up pretty close, but I guess we'll find out in a moment when we go to put that bumper in that car. So let's get to it.
So this car came factory with the uh, front lip under the bumper, a little plastic lip, uh, which I don't have. It didn't come with the car, and I can't find one. Any ideas, anyone? Like, uh, can I, is there products you can use to make one that doesn't look too bad, or it looks like finding the original is kind of a, a pipe dream, uh, from what I can tell anyway, from my regular uh, places I've looked. Um, but if any of you have any ideas, that would be appreciated. There's got to be something I can do there. Um, but otherwise, I think I have everything else now to get this thing put back together. Okay, guys, that'll wrap it up for this video. Uh, next, we'll be moving on to the interior and then some exterior mechanical. It's all looking pretty nice. I'm happy with the way everything has turned out so far. And that's almost it for the exterior besides a good cleaning and putting the windshield wipers back on. Thanks again for watching. Please, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe for more CRX content.